And Beijing may have succeeded in putting Taiwan on the back burner, but it does not have much reason to celebrate. It is still under pressure on many fronts, on many sensitive issues. The United States now wants to corner China, and it has a two-pronged strategy. The first handle is Tibet. America is focusing on Tibet again and asking a question. Where is the Panchen Lama? The Panchen Lama is the second most senior figure in Tibetan Buddhism. That's after the Dalai Lama. Where is he? It's been 25 years since he was taken into protective custody, as the Chinese put it. Protective custody. 25 years. His appointment was rejected by the Chinese regime. This was in the year 1995. He was only six years old. Human rights organizations have termed him the youngest political prisoner in the world. And the picture that you see on your screen is the only picture available, the only available photograph of the Panchen Lama. His real name is Gedun Choikinima. He must be 31 years old by now. But his whereabouts are still unknown. For 25 long years, China has refused to give any information about his existence or well-being. It's not like questions weren't asked. In 1996, China said that he was at risk of being kidnapped by separatists and he was being kept at a safe location. In 2007, China said that he was receiving a cultural Chinese upbringing. His safety was still at risk. In 2015, China said that he was living a normal life and apparently did not wish to be disturbed. On all these occasions, you had to take China's word for it. Any visit by an independent observer was denied. Now, the United States want to revive this issue to corner China. America has renewed calls for China to free the Panchen Lama. Leading the charge is U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. He wants China to make the Lama's whereabouts known to the world. The U.S. says that China must allow believers of all religions to freely practice their faith. Guess what China is saying this time? The Panchen Lama is an ordinary Chinese citizen, that he is not a reincarnation of anybody. Good. Then why is this ordinary Chinese citizen being hidden from the world? China's defense is still the same. Nima. Indeed, he is not a reincarnation of the Panchen Lama, but an ordinary Chinese citizen. He received free compulsory education as a child, passed the college entrance examination and now has a job. He and his family do not want their routine life to be disturbed by the outside world and hope that relevant parties will fully understand and respect their will. Respect their will. It's a bit rich coming from China. They kidnapped a six-year-old boy, too young to even understand what's willful and what's not. Thousands of Tibetan Buddhists were forcefully re-educated by the Chinese regime against their will. China almost eliminated the religious and cultural identity of Tibetans, so much for respecting the will of others. China must first convince the world that the Panchen Lama is alive. We can then discuss whether he wants to be disturbed or not.